guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Orly, for those of you that are new, and this is The DIY Designer. I do DIY fashion and home decor and sometimes beauty, and today is actually a bonus video. So for those of you that are new, I normally release my DIY videos on Fridays. Today is not Friday, however, the video I did release last week was this, what I'm wearing right now. It's a no-sew infinity wrap bodysuit and a no-sew skirt. So when you combine them, you can wear it like a dress or you could wear them as two separates, giving you a lot more bang for your buck and they're totally no-sew. I also featured in that video a sewing version. So for those of you that know how to sew and you wanna make like a more legit version, I do a full sewing tutorial on how to make that really kind of sexy, super tight bodycon dress with the ruching detail on the side and those actually can be worn as separates as well. Today's video is really just about how to wrap all of the infinity wrap styles. You can completely customize it to your body. So your body, your shape, your figure, your style, all of those things, you can make it fully custom to you. So that is why it's such an awesome piece. And the Noso version is so simple that it's like, gone. If you wanna check out the other video, I'll put the link in the description. Otherwise, let's get right into this sucker, shall we? Okay, let's start with the very first version. This is the most simple that it's like, why even show it? But sometimes that's the best one. So my two straps are just like this, right? Straight up and down. Now you're just gonna tie it like a halter top. Oh, try not to tie your hair. And then you can let it hang down just like kind of almost like a train. If you want, you can take it and wrap it around the front. So now you've got this, you've got that look in the back. You would wrap it now to create this shape here in the front. So now you could just go like this. And one, a couple of things that that's gonna do is not only is it gonna create this really pretty shape right here, but if you did do the no wrap skirt and let's say maybe there's a safety pin showing, these sort of straps here can wrap and hide that. And now you just sort of look in the mirror and kind of like straighten out any little part that you want to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so I've got my two pieces, again, nice and straight. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna tie it. I am going to start kind of twisting it. I'm basically gonna twist it until it hits the bottom. Now, from the front, this doesn't look a lot different, but what this is gonna allow you to do is create more of a sleeve on the top. So, sorry, I'm looking in the mirror. So when I'm looking there, I'm just making sure I'm doing it even. Obviously, it could be left like this, or you could take these two pieces and kind of pull them down so it creates this little cap sleeve. That's one of the ones that I did in the video that I showed. So now you've got this sort of cool cap sleeve. For those of you that have a really big bust and have to wear a bra, I am gonna show you versions for that. Some of these though are good for someone like me who has no boobs and doesn't really have to worry about it. So I'll show you a few. So one that's gonna be really good for those of you that do have a bust is again, leave them straight like this, okay? Two, two uh, rectangles are going up over the top and just hanging back down. Take this one and you're going to crisscross it across the back and go under here, under the front, okay? So there you go, you can see this now, part of this is gonna be able to hide a bra. It's also gonna cover your bust. Now you're gonna go underneath the front and that's gonna go under the other breast, okay? So for right now, leave that there. Do the same thing with the other side. You're gonna crisscross it under the front now, if I really had boobs, this could act like a push-up bra. I really don't, so it's not gonna do a whole lot for me, but if you have a bust, the tighter you go here, look, right? So now, we'll fix it all, but for now, I'm just gonna lay it down and tie it in the back. So now you can open this up as much as you need to, depending on your bust. You could wear a bra right here. You could wear a bra in the front. You're just gonna crisscross this so that it's laying how you want. And then if you, want, if you don't want to see that skin right there, either take these pieces and they can come back around the front and tie here, or your no-sew wrap skirt can just be worn more high-waisted. But this is another great version. And again, all of the things in the front, they can be, you know, you can have them come in, you can have them out, you know, all of this shape when you're up like that, either one's going to work. But this is going to give you basically a bra for those of you that have a larger bust and can't get away with the open back and all that stuff. Now, real quick while we're here, another option is instead of, once you come under, right, instead of going back under the front, you could have it on the outside like this, right? So that's one more way. The crisscross goes underneath from the back, but then over the front. Underneath from the back, over the front. You can have that sort of push-up action 
that you need. Again, remember, I have no boobs to push. <laughs> you hopefully are in a different situation than I am, but that's another way uh, to do the sort of crisscross bra function of the dress. So another one that I did in the video was it was tied in the front. So take your two pieces just like this. You're going to tie a knot in the front and now you would tie it in the back. My gosh, you guys, I'm schwitzing in here. I have the air on, but I don't feel it. One option obviously is it's tied up here in the front. You just tie it up high in the back and then this guy kind of hangs down. So for those wondering why you do the little wrap, the main benefit is that it lowers the straps so that they're not gonna come across the top here. This sort of like anchors it so I can't go much higher than my waist, which means that when I wrap around my front, the, uh, the pieces are laying in like a more flattering way. Create that shape, that angle, so open it up. Same with this side, open it up, and then you can tie them in the back. This is when you do a little bit of the like tweaking this is when I like to look at both sides, make sure that I'm creating kind of a flattering angle on both sides. And there you can see I've got the angle, okay? The other option here is you either wear it just like this or you actually take these pieces and you do the same thing with the little cap sleeve. And this is what I did in the video. Because the fabric is so stretchy, it doesn't roll up like you would expect it to. So that's it, that's another version of it. It gives you that little kind of coverage on the shoulder, the twist tie in the front. Now we can stay here with our knot and go to one side. You've got this sort of really cool keyhole, super slim keyhole. You can tie a knot if you want, or you could just leave this kind of twist look. And then again, tie in the front, right? Really pretty knot, you can sort of space it out and then it loops and wraps around in the back. Or you can just take it from the top and just wrap. And then that's the back. Each one has like 30 different variations, obviously, but I do think that this is really pretty, this sort of twist tie thing. Okay, so now let's stay with the one side thing. Instead of tying the knot, just wrap both around the side. This is how I wore it when I tied the skirt like a mini skirt in the video. I just had them both like this. And I opened that side up. And here you could even do like, you know, you can always tie this on the side. So it's like a belt. Two versions for this one as well within this one tie. You wear it like this, really pretty. You could put like a cool brooch right here. Hold on, let me get one. So if you wanted, you could take like a pretty brooch that's really pretty, like if you're going, you're wearing something fancier. Remember, this is a bodysuit, so I can be wearing jeans with this. So like, you could do this in a really great stretch black fabric with a pair of great like distressed jeans and a cool brooch. So just keep in mind, that's the benefit of doing the bodysuit, is that this isn't only a dress, this is a top. So every way that I'm showing you to wear this is not only a dress, but it's also a shirt. So it's like, a million different variations. So anyway, here is the one shoulder. Another option is you take this side piece, Again, you could do it with the brooch where you sort of roll it down and you have that cool little shoulder piece right there. I just realized I'm not taking any pictures of these. Sh Another one is to tie knots basically like, I don't know, like in between your collarbone and the center of your breast. Try to adjust them so that they're even all of the ways that we were able to wear it before as a halter, you can do it, it'll just have this knot detail. All right, so another one is taking your two pieces and just crisscrossing them, right? So this is straight crisscross up over the shoulder. One of the things you can do is do the underneath thing. And again, that could go under both in the front or only under one. From the front, it still is this look that we talked about. You can kind of lower it and you've got that version as well. So in all the styles that we did, instead of just coming up over and tying it in the back or doing the twist here, you can twist in the front. But so just simply twisting the front is gonna give a whole different look. And you could do one side twisted. You know, you could do like an asymmetric situation where this side is twisted and this side is straight. There's a million things. So just think about the fact that twisting with each style that we did is one additional way to create an entirely separate look. Okay, now let's move on to the skirt. All you really need is one safety pin for the skirt. 
So this is the leftover fabric I had. When I bought it, they didn't cut it evenly. So what I was left over with, it's shorter on the top than it is on the bottom, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be wrapping it and it's so stretchy. So basically, I mean, I almost don't even know how to show it because there's so many ways, but like one very simple way is taking the shorter side. So you'd wrap it like this. Now at this point, you could tuck it in, you could safety pin it, or you could just hold it really tight. Hold it super tight, grab this fabric, wrap all the way around, and then here, you could leave it sort of like this drape front. So what you would do is you would create really pretty draping that you like, then flip it, do a tiny bit just like that. You can't see it, but even if you did, that's when these straps can always come around and you know cover things but so this is one super simple version it's asymmetric it's got a shorter side in the front the pretty draping in the front just like this and it's got that really gorgeous drape here folding it so it's short so see how you can crisscross it like that if you want again you're gonna take one side go all the way around so it's super tight take the other side that's actually really pretty. <laughs> and you could then pin it there. Obviously that is super duper short. Because it's stretchy, it's really gonna let you manipulate it. And again, I can create that really pretty draping. I can pin it and leave this to sort of hang like a ruffle. Take the short side, I'm gonna hide the short side on the bottom so that we don't see the double length. Cause again, remember mine was cut unevenly. Put it where you want it on your waist. Start pulling, pull, pull, keep going. Now, what do you want? Do you want this really pretty ruching detail here? Do you wanna just keep wrapping it, right? And so now put this pretty brooch to cover your safety pin, just like that. You know, you could maybe like angle it off to the side a little more. Now another option is I have folded it long, long ways. So see it's folded like this. If you want like a high side slit is gonna get wrapped here. This is gonna get wrapped here. And again, you would pin it. Let's do our pretty brooch. Okay, we've got a beautiful brooch. We've got this really pretty line that's super flattering as it cuts across the hip and creates all that pleating. And you've got a side slit. Don't mind me and my slippers. This is a really great way and so simple and it's double layered, right? Because I folded it long ways like this, so it's double layered, so it gives you even more of a smooth finish. This is a good one. We're gonna fold it in half lengthwise. I wanna hide the skinny part underneath because I don't want it to be layered. I want this to be clean, so take this skinny part and wrap super tight on the bottom, right? Now you're gonna come around the top and you're just gonna keep wrapping super, super snug and when you get to the front here, I like this little, like, um, I don't know, this little drape. I think it's really pretty. And that line is really pretty. You can always twist it around, you know, if you need to. And I think the only one I didn't show was really the most simple, basically just like this. So take your fabric, wrap it around. You're only going to go a little on the side and a little on the side to overlap and let the bottom sort of hang down like that. Now you just put the pin and this is again like remember this is just with a yard and a half of fabric so grab a white t-shirt and some fabric that you have as long as it's stretchy you can put your brooch and you've got that whole separate look all right so the last general note that i want to make is if you have a print like mine where it's mixed and maybe there's a certain part you like more than the other when you're wrapping your skirt you want to work backwards so for example i know that I like the white right here. I don't really love just the solid green. I like the way it looks with these mixed colors right here. So if I want that there, center that and work your way backwards. So now that means this piece, that means this piece would have to start here so that when I wrap, I've got that whole section I wanted in front. And then that would obviously dictate that this would be a hanging side because otherwise I'd come right back around the front and block it, which that does look really cool, <laughs> but 
but you know, I mean, it's like you could wrap it a million ways. As long as you have that really good stretch fabric, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want. So for those of you that have yet to watch the actual DIY video, this is the sewing one that I made. This is the one that's a ruched skirt on both sides. And what I did is I actually sewed the infinity top to a slip that I made so that I could wear this skirt on its own with like a white t-shirt or something like that. The tie-dye one is about 12 inches wide. This is about 15. There's only like one style that really allows you to do and that's basically making it a shirt. So you would lay it flat like this and now you'd crisscross and you would tie it. And basically what that will do is it gives you like a sleeve. So the other one, you know, when I spread it out, it really only went to like here. So that's just one difference is if you make it longer, you can wear it almost like a shirt. The sleeve goes down basically to my elbow. And obviously that's not the case with the other one. Because it's wider, you're gonna get like more extreme coverage in certain things. So like for example, if we did the, the one-sided thing, this side, can be much more extreme, that drape. So basically, you'd pull this tight, right? So this is really nice and tight. And then you'd crisscross them in the back because that's what's gonna keep them in place. See how nice and tight I can make it? Make sure that you can like move around. <laughs> Don't do it so tight that it looks good but it's not comfortable. This probably right here is a little tight. I actually think it'll be better if I take them both together. So I have them both and I wrap it. And then you could use your brooch as a way to hide it and tack it. So just like that. So then I, everything's kind of wrapped all one way and I don't, I'm not cutting across the sleeve. That's the only real difference. Otherwise you can do pretty much everything we did with the other one with this. Let's say I wanted to wear it with another kind of skirt. Now I'm basically wearing it just as a top. Again, remember you can drop those sleeves down by doing it on the short skirt. Not only is it functioning as a slip so that when I wear it with my long skirt, it's not see-through, but it's actually functioning as a slip under something else as well, allowing me to wear it with any other skirt in my closet that works. And this is nude, so I mean, it's pretty much gonna work with anything. Okay, I think we're done. So there are probably a lot more ways to wear it. I will just say that the ones I showed you are the ones that I find to be the most comfortable, the best go-to, like the less busy, you know, really the most wearable. Obviously, play around. It is so much fun. Play around with all the different styles. I do think that the one that wraps under the bust and acts like a bra is probably one of the best. I know there were some comments of those of you that are like, um, hello, I've got boobs. Like, what about me? That definitely will help. Also, this one, which you know is much wider, I think this one I made at 16 inches, gives a lot more coverage. So for anyone that has a larger bust, I think the wider version is also gonna give you guys a lot more coverage and ability to keep the girls where you want the girls. Um, all right, I hope that this video was helpful and fun for you guys, and I hope that you liked it was a bonus. If you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe and make sure that you tap that bell for notifications because I'm starting to do bonus videos on random days that aren't Fridays and you don't want to miss them. So I want to make sure you guys get those notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you do this, please send me pictures. I'm already getting people sending me pictures on Instagram at Orly Shani. DM them to me. Put the title, I made your infinity wrap and I'll see it and I, you would make my day. I would love nothing more than to see what you guys make out of these. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Mwah. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.